would like to talk to you about your comments about my being a racist sucker. And you, I want to talk to you. You want, I want you to prove that I'm a racist. It's not something you'd expect to hear from a governor, but that's just part of a profanity-laced voicemail Maine Governor Paul LePage left for State Representative Drew Gatine on Thursday. Though Gatine denies he called LePage a racist, LePage might be used to being called one. He previously drew national attention for this comment he made in January. These are guys of the name D-Money, Smoothie, Shifty, uh, <laughs> these type of guys that come from Connecticut, New York. They come up here, they sell their heroin, then they go back home. Incidentally, half the time they impregnate a young white girl before they leave. On Wednesday, LePage talked about his state's drug dealing arrest during a town hall gathering. He said, I will tell you that 90 plus percent of those pictures in my book, and it's a three ring binder, are black and Hispanic people. It seems the reason for the voicemail is based on hearsay. During an encounter with reporters on Thursday, the governor apparently got the impression that Gatine had called him a racist. So he left Gatine a voicemail. And that voicemail was made public thanks in part to the governor himself. Thanks to a tip from the governor, yes, he told reporters he left the profane voicemail, the Portland Press Herald filed a state open records request to get the voicemail from Gatine. It then posted the recording on its website. During that sit down, he also said he wanted to challenge Gatine to a duel, saying he would point a gun right between his eyes if he could. Maine's Democratic Assistant House Majority Leader said the comments show LePage is unfit to hold office. She called on her colleagues across the aisle to help. We expect them to come together with us to either get him the help that he needs or to remove him from office. LePage has since apologized to the people of Maine, but did not apologize apologize to Gatine as of Saturday morning. He called me a racist. And in my mind, there is not a word in the English dictionary that I could repeat that is more hurtful. For Newsy, I'm Lauren Stevenson.